welcome back to the LCP Digital Learning Channel. Today I'm going to be talking about something that some of you early childhood teachers might be having in your classroom, and that's the Bbots. So let me go over real quick what's going to be coming with these for some of you in the classroom, and then we'll go over each of the pieces and how they work. So you should be getting at least one Bbot. Inside of this you'll have your Bbot and your charging cord. You'll also be getting a blank mat. This is going to be great for making your own lesson plans with Bbots, making your own kind of grid of things the kids are finding, and this will be great because you can make this part of any of the curriculum that you're using in your classroom. Okay, most importantly, you're going to be getting a Bbot lesson planner. Now, inside of this has some information about how the Bbot works, but it also has pages and pages and pages of different lesson plans separated by math, science, ELAR, and social studies. Inside of your lesson plan folder is going to be this CD. On this CD are PDFs of things that are already made for you. For example, you've got some letter cards, you've got number cards, you've got science and social studies activities that can all be cut out, that can be put under the protective sleeve on that grid so that you can make up some different lessons. You're gonna get some planning cards. These planning cards are gonna be really good for kids when they're learning to code with the Bbot on to plan out their path that they need to go on. Okay, so there's ones that say like, go left, go right, go forward, stop, pause, things like that. So this is gonna be really good when those kids are trying to pre-plan the movement of this Bbot. And last, you're gonna be getting these different pre-made mats. Okay, so one of them has money on it, one of them has shapes, one of them is a map, and the one I can imagine that you're gonna be using the most of is the one that is an alphabet. So now let's jump into how some of these things work. Let's talk about the lesson planning book. So inside of this book, you're gonna have that CD that I talked about that has the PDFs. Okay, you're also going to have an introduction to what the Bbot is, table of contents, this is where you're gonna find all the lessons. And then if you go forward several pages, you're gonna have a different lesson planner. On each of these pages is a lesson plan. It has its subject, the topic, the objectives, a summary procedure, differentiated instructions, collaboration, time allotment, resources, and the standard. So this is gonna be really good for you to start with on things that you're gonna be doing. For example, this is mathematics. Later on, you've got some social studies lessons. So they've done a whole lot of that work for you. So all you need to do is find something that goes along with what you're learning and implement this lesson plan with the Bbot. All right, so now let's talk about the Bbot. So inside of this box, you're gonna have a Bbot and you're gonna have your charging cord. Now underneath this right here are some instructions if you need them. Okay, so on your Bbot, on the bottom side, this is where the batteries are if you need to replace those. And this right here is where you're gonna be plugging this in. So the cord gets plugged into a USB into this right here. You have two switches that the kids need to know about. You've got one for volume and you've got one to turn it on. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and the volume is on. All right, so here's my Bbot. You'll notice there's only um, a few buttons on the top. You've got forward, backwards, turn, and turn and go. Then you've also got this X and a pause. This X one is gonna clear out any of the coding you've added to this Bbot. As you code, if you continue to add buttons after you play with it, it's gonna to continue to add those on top of your coding. So if the kids are going to do a new path, they need to reset this Bbot before it'll go. So for example, if I wanna go forward and then turn, okay, let's see what that happens. Okay, so let's talk about some real world scenarios that you might be using this for in your classroom. Okay, so for example, in pre-K or kindergarten, maybe you just wanna do letter ID. Okay, you could do, do this in normal um, station activities, but if you're wanting to add some coding into your lessons, here's what we can do. So maybe I'm gonna start with my Bbot on this cubes, and maybe if I'm playing with partners and my partner goes, find the letter J. I know my Bbot needs to go forward one square, turn forward two. So let's see if I can do that forward one square, turn forward one, forward two. Let's see, and then I'll press go. Okay, the last thing I wanna talk about is these planning cards. These are gonna be really helpful for kids when they're planning out some of the coding they're, gonna, they're going to be doing. So for example, maybe I want to help the kid plan on how to get to this letter J. Okay, so for kids who are brand new and don't know how to do this, they might need to know, okay, I'm gonna go forward one. I'm gonna put this underneath here. They're gonna go forward one. Then I need the turn, so they're gonna find that card that turns, and they need to figure out which way they wanna turn. So here we go, I'm gonna go left, 
and then they go forward, forward. So now I'm gonna go forward, forward. So I've planned out my path that I want my B-Bot to go. Now the kid, all I have to do is press the button. So exit out, I need to go forward, turn, forward, forward. Let's see. All right, so real quick, let's talk about what this might look like in your classroom. For example, the easiest one's probably gonna be this letter one. Having the B-Bot with the two friends at that station, and they can take turns choosing a letter and then coding the B-Bot to see if they can find that letter. Or put some picture cards out there and they can find first sound, last sound. Again, use that lesson plan binder that you're getting. There is tons and tons of resources in there. So the letter one's gonna be great, first sound, last sound, spelling their name, seeing if they can code the B-Bot to go to each letter of their name. Also, this map is gonna be great for teaching location, going left, going right, things like that in the neighborhood, talking about community helpers, see if the B-Bot can go to the store or the community helper that you're talking about. Using this as a shape or money review where you could describe a shape and then see if they can move that B-Bot to the shape or the money that they think it is. But what I think you're gonna use the most of is this blank grid. This is gonna be something that you can make anything and everything that's inside of your brain a review or a practice at one of your stations. Now what's great about this is the first layer is clear. This is your protective layer. The second layer is just a blank grid. Now inside that CD on your lesson planning binder are different PDFs that you can print off and cut out. For example, I've done the one with numbers. So what I can do is put those numbers out one in each of the grids. When I'm done, I'm going to put the protective layer down. So now those numbers are gonna stay, and now I can use this B-Bot to explore numbers. Or I could be exploring um, parts of the body. I could be exploring the, the layers of the rainforest. Whatever you're learning in math, science, social studies, and ELAR, you can teach the kids to code using this B-Bot while connecting to the learning in your classroom. I really hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or concerns or need some extra help with these B-Bots, Email help and we'll be glad to get out to you. If you found this video helpful, make sure and hit that like button. To make sure you get more videos like this, be sure to click right here to subscribe and to click the bell to make sure you get notifications. If you'd like to submit a topic or concept for future videos, there's a link in the description down below. And if you're looking for more digital learning tips and tricks, make sure to follow us on Twitter.